Hi guys, it's Chris here, also known as that French Broke. I'm on the road again today because I went to pick up some uh, videotapes. Uh, if you remember, a few months ago, I made a video about selling videotape on uh, Amazon and it's uh, actually working quite well, so I'm doing it more and I'll show you how I am planning to um, extend that activity. I'll tell you more after this. So here is what I bought. You can see this, this, and this. Uh, what was my main interest was those videotapes. Uh, they are brand new Sony individually wrapped, and uh, I'm going to sell them on. Um, I'm going to sell them. On Amazon and they are selling quite well. I already have uh, some DV uh, tapes that I've sold on Amazon and they are doing well too so that's a way to expand to do more so sell on Amazon it's to have different type of of cassettes like that you can address different customers different type of customers. Um, there are some DVDs as well in there uh, I'll be honest with you, I, I, I bought them because they were part of the lot, uh, but I don't think what I'm going to do with them. I mean, they are brand new, they are wrapped, uh, maybe they can be sold, I will see. But what is important to know is that I've priced my offer only based on videotapes. So everything else I consider it to be free. Uh, I didn't offer anything for them. I, um, based on the price of videotape, I've paid, like those ones are 60 minutes, I've paid 2 euros for them, and uh, there are some 90 minutes that i paid 3 euros for, um, if I remember well. But it's, it's that's what I've priced, 2 or 3 euros for videotapes. Knowing that I have also some cleaning tapes that are that sell very well, like for, I sold one the other day for 25 euros, I'm going to put those one to 35 euros, I will see. All together, just the videotape, be paying between 2 and 3 euros for them, I came up with a total of 380 euros. I offered the guy 2.50, he counted back at 3.50, I accepted the offer. And uh, I think it's fair. Also gave me a set of batteries and charger. I'll see what I can do with that, if I can do anything. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I, I really don't see that. But the videotapes, uh, that will be an easy sell and that will bring good money. There is 48 short one and 35 I think long one plus like different tapes like this that will, you see those ones are not mini DV, they are digital age. Uh, all that will sell well, I'm pretty sure. So I'll go back in my office and we'll talk more about this. Here I am back in my office and we are going to see together whether it was a good idea to drive like for five hours because that's the time it took me to get there and back for a few videotapes. So what did I get in that lot? The main reason for buying the lot was those little tape. They are Sony mini DV tape for video cameras. 60 minutes. Those tape came packaged in two ways, either in a three pack like this or in an eight pack. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the three pack as it is and those sell for 54 euro 99, 55 euros on Amazon and I'm going to keep them like that. Those ones, they are individually wrapped as well, so I can sell it at the unit, and that's what I'm going to do. I have 11 of those selling for 55 euros, basically. That gives me a total of 604.89 euros just for those 11 ones, i.e. almost twice as much as I paid for the lot. 
individual ones i've got 51 of them 51 and i'm going to sell them for 16.99 that gives me a total of 866 euros and 49 centimes so that all together here i already have like 1200 euros great the reason the reason why i'm keeping those one here is because i believe that it will give me better chance to sell them um i think eight in a pack is too much three is fine and that give me basically two product to sell people who just want one to check the camera will take those one people who want to make movie with the camera will go for those one because it will be a bit cheaper but either way i can find more if i need to so i'd rather have them sell as quickly as possible although i know i'm not going it's not a hot seller i'm going to sell like a few a week like three four a week but that's fine i'm not in a rush one thing that was part of the lot as well is those two tapes those are rare and they are definitely bolos those are cleaning tapes remember if you're old enough to remember using tapes you know that the head used to get dirty and you need sometimes to run a cleaning tape and those are very hard to find today but people who are trying to resurrect their granddad's camera will often need cleaning tapes i had one the other day i've sold it for 34 euros on amazon and it went in hours so i've got two more here that i'm going to put for 30 i'll put 33 98 no for 34 99 okay uh and i'm pretty sure they will sell quickly so that's that's a good find if you find those anywhere buy them they sell on amazon like hotcakes and i'm sure on ebay they will sell like hotcakes as well but i'll have a better price on amazon so there are some of those tape as well hi8 tape those are i mean it's, it's like mini dv tape it's a different format they're a bit bigger uh and they do so there's also a couple of vhsc tape as well so those one easy to sell and the good thing is having uh variety is people who are looking for those i'm not looking for mini dvd mini dv sorry so i'm not concurrencing myself i'm just giving having more product give me more opportunity to sell i'm selling them for how much 16.99 as well <laughs> so that's um same price and all together i've got 10 of those tape uh, so that will give me about 260 euros more talking of, of cleaning tape i've found in the rut this micro mv cleaning tape i've never heard of that format it's tiny it's video tape as well but it's really really tiny uh i'll be perfectly honest with you i didn't know they existed but same thing i will sell them for 35 euros sell it for 35 euros and uh, i'm sure it will go fast as well although it's a far less popular format than mini dv when i did my price for the lot i only priced videotapes i knew that they were mini disc mini dvds blank dvds in it and i've never had any of those and i didn't know if there is a demand who wants small disc i mean what was, when is the last time you had a small disc okay so i didn't price them i count zero i've got basically zero euros in that because i only priced the the tapes that i knew at value this i didn't know uh, it turns out that it's a bit like tapes because the only thing is still useful it's video cameras some video cameras if you remember and i forgot about that some video cameras take this as a medium so they will write on it straight out of the thing so my guess is that the demand for them will be similar to the one for uh video tape it's actually even more convenient because with mini dv you need to have like cables that are a bit specialized if you want to take your tape onto your computer with that all you need is a cd raw a cd drive or a dvd drive or well, dvd drive obviously because it's dvd so i had a few different models i've got some dvd r those one you can write on it only once and i've got some dvd rw which can be written on many times and it came in two different lengths 30 minutes and 60 minutes so i've got basically 
uh, four types of those DVDs. Depending on the type, I'm going to sell them between 8 and 12 euros and we will see how it goes. My guess is it might be a bit less popular, but I don't know. If I see that they are selling well, I will put the price up slightly. As it is, I've got 69 of them, either individual or mini spindle. I only have two mini spindles. Um, 69 that I will try to sell at first for 812 euros total. Altogether, for my 350 euros investment, I have a total value for sale on Amazon of 2734 euros. So that, that's, a, that's a good return. I mean, I, I'm ready to drive five hours for that, no problem. But there is also more. In the lot, there were some VHS tape. So that's something that I find interesting. I have, sorry, wrong side. Sony like that, those ones sell like, I'm not hot cake, but they sell very well for 12 euros, if I remember well. But that's the only good one in the lot. All the other one uh, look a bit like that. And what's wrong with that is that they are... The make is Auchan, which is basically a French chain of supermarket. So I don't think I'm going to put them on Amazon because of that. I don't want to create a, a new product and I may run into problem with Auchan. Those ones are going to be sold on eBay and I'm going to sell them for less than I would have on Amazon, but I'm still going to sell them. It will be a bit more work and a bit less money. Too bad. In the same lot, I had spindle of DVDs or individual DVDs. This, I might end up donating them. I, I really don't know what I'm going to do with that. It's not a popular medium anymore, who needs those, and I will, like, I don't think I will recoup the effort putting into trying to sell them, so I might donate them to charity. And it's not finished. In that lot, I also have more DVD cassettes. Those are Panasonic cassettes, and I am gated. I can't sell Panasonic on Amazon, unfortunately. So I have, what, 20 of them? I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I think I will list them on either eBay or Accrington. Uh, I'll, I'll make money out of those 20. I maybe make like f five euros each. That's another hundred bucks. Easy. <coughs> oh, and before I forgot as well, the guy gave me, that wasn't supposed to be part of the road. The guy gave me this bag, which is full of Sony chargers and batteries. Uh, they are for, for cameras, I think, for all video cameras. Uh, but they're quite a few, but some are brand new in the packet. And I think all are in good condition. I also have a remote control for Sony cameras. I'm going to try to sell. The guys used to work for Sony, and when they closed the company, those were the basically part of the stock that they shared between the employees, so that's why he, he had all that. Uh, it was, I mean, great of him giving me that. Uh, I don't, I think some of it will end up in my desk pile, definitely, but some of it will make me money. So, all together, I'm very, very pleased with that thing. I think I have enough video types to last me, well, of those, those mini DV at least, to last me a good six months. But hey, it will be a slow seller. It's still easy money. It's what I'm having a expected benefit of 2,384 euros. That's good for like five hour drive. Uh, it took me yesterday, maybe two hours to go through everything and price everything and all those things. And I expect to have another two hours just to send the stuff to Amazon because that's a bit painful, especially when you have lots of different references like I have. But still, if you count it, nine hours, which is a good day of work, 2,300 euros. I, if I could do that every day, I'd be happy. So guys, if you're a reseller, videotapes is certainly an area that I will advise you to go into, whether it's 
VHS videotape or videotape for camera, it sells well. It's, you're not going to get rich, but little work, good return. So go for it, guys. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please press the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already, and I'll see you next time.